She screams to the giant bouncer they had stationed in the private room with us. Jimmy. This guy just licked my asshole. Jimmy responds hey. No asshole licking and violently drags him out. What's the worst thing you have witnessed on a bachelor bachelorette party? Welcome back viewer, I'm so glad to see you. My name is Andrew the Automaton and I'll be the storyteller for today. Now sit back relax, like the video, subscribe, and ring the bell button. Without further ado let's get into the stories. The best man got pissed drunk at breakfast and ate an entire banana without peeling it, and I've questioned if there is a god ever since. Have strippers come over, they are not strippers, but escorts. Married dude ducks escort as the other girl is getting slapped by ping pong paddles in the ass upstairs in a good fight. Next day I have to sit in the car and drive home with a guilt-stricken married guy. Whole party got drunk, and the best man admitted to having slept with the bride. Massive bar fight followed, and the groom lost one of his front teeth. The wedding still happened, but he kept his mouth shut in all the pictures, best man was nowhere to be seen, and the title was given to the groom's other brother. One of the guys had a what happens in Vegas idea about the whole thing and kept trying to get the groom laid. He wandered off to find a hooker. The problem is we weren't even remotely close to Vegas or a hooker for miles, so it was just an ordinary casino night. Just with one guy off in the background walking up to random women he assumed would sell their bodies for money. It was a combo bachelor and bachelorette party, and one attendee got really drunk and wanted to leave. The hosts had collected everyone's keys to prevent drunk driving and refused to return his keys he'd willingly given up earlier. He goes outside and shortly returns with a tire iron and just starts wailing on guests at the party including bridesmaids and groomsmen. One of the other attendees grabs a big six-cell maglite and clocks the aggressor over the head with it killing him. No charges get filed because it was deemed justified and the wedding went on as planned a few days later. I felt bad for the bride and groom because no amount of makeup was going to hide the bruises and missing teeth in the wedding photos. Had a friend hit $250k on a $5 slot machine at a Shreveport casino at his bachelor party two weeks before the ceremony. With his newfound wealth, he decided to ask his fiance to sign a prenup. She refused. She had referred to it as our money from the first moment she heard the good news. And so, he walked away. Everyone hated him for it. He was practically excommunicated from all our social circles. Ten years later and she's filed bankruptcy twice in hindsight he made the right decision. We went paintballing in the afternoon and at one point the groom was laying down sniping when a kid snuck up behind him and just unloaded on the groom's ass. Which would be hilarious, but the paintball found its way to the groom's ball sack. It swelled up like an orange and he wasn't able to go to the strip club that night nor consummate the wedding the following day. 16 years later and his wife's still pretty pissed about it, even though the rest of us think it's pretty hilarious in hindsight. That it some peeps are mad that I said it was hilarious. Just the idea of my dude sniping and then getting shot in the ass is just funny. Getting shot repeatedly is terrible. And no, the kid didn't get his ass kicked. There were too many random kids, and we had no idea who did it. We shot at him but he was too fast. We were too old. Say la vie. My buddy's bachelor party was set to be pretty tame. No strip clubs or casinos or anything like that. He just wanted to get these massive burgers from the local burger joint walking distance from his condo and play Birio Kart 64. So after we had all stuffed our faces from these ridiculous Mondo burgers, we sat down, divided up the teams, and each person would drain one beer per lap, then exchange controllers. Every single person ended up puking immediately. Once the toilet, sink, and kitchen sink were full, people were throwing up all over the place, running around looking for the least damaging spot to spew. It was obscene. This isn't going to be anywhere near as horrific as what I'm sure most people will have to say here, but my friend invited an absolute scumbag to her hen party about seven years ago. Her reputation was that she was trash, but she showed up like a different person and was actually very nice the whole night. She was on her best behavior, buying rounds of drinks, showing a genuine interest in conversations, the whole works. 
She even offered to look after the coats and bags while we got up to dance. Halfway through the first song we all turned around to find her rifling through everyone's belongings. She locked eyes with us while she had one hand full of banknotes and the other full of someone's cigarettes. She wasn't at the wedding. We had an ongoing rule through the weekend that if you were holding a pint and someone managed to get a nominated coin into it, you had to down it immediately. It was, I think, a Brazilian real whatever it was, it was a big old coin. Significant diameter and a good, sturdy thickness. Anyway, one of the chaps ended up swallowing the coin along with the beer. I'll never forget the look of realization on his face. And I can imagine the other look on his face a couple of days later. We were a bunch of nerds in the 90s. Set up a giant LAN party for our buddy getting married. Someone hired a stripper. She gave us a shopping list of things to get including a banana. Someone brought a plantain instead. Stripper arrives and is older than all of us. We tried to convince her to play Doom. She would not. Half the party just played video games, while the other half awkwardly tried to interact with the stripper. She was not impressed with the plantain. After about 20 minutes she said she would do something really special for the groom if she could leave early. We agreed. She put him in a mask with a dildo for a nose and ducked herself with it. Super awkward. Edit. I think a lot of you are under the impression that we were somehow mean to this stripper. We just asked her to play Doom. She said no thanks, then put on her show. When we gave her the plant and she just said that is not a banana and put it aside. She gave zero ducks about the guys that just wanted to play computer games. She was tipped well and we were very nice to her. No strippers were harmed in the making of this comment. When I left a wedding reception to go to another event I asked my friends to watch out for my younger brother. My friends were drunk and they dared my brother to go knock on some limo's window that drove by. He did. Then he ran away. Then a bunch of girls opened the door and told him to come back. So he did. Then the limo drove off with my brother in it. It was a bachelorette party. My friends freaked out because they were supposed to watch my brother and he just hopped in some stranger's car that drove away. The girls in the car got my brother to eat a lifesaver off the bachelorette's nipple. Then they showed him a picture of the huge guy she was marrying the next day. He was scared for a week that some guy was going to find him and beat him up. This was my brother's bachelor party. There was a group of about 16 of us who got a private room in a local, crappy, strip club. A guy who I'll call Ed showed up, but was not invited. He was a childhood friend of my brother, but as an adult Ed had some issues, like five kids from four different mothers and general poor decision making. Anyway, within the first hour, two strippers start giving us a show. They are seemingly getting really into it and start 69ing each other. Vigorously. Ed proceeds to kneel behind the woman on top in the 69 and licks her ass. She screams to the giant bouncer they had stationed in the private room with us Jimmy. This guy just licked my asshole. Jimmy responds hey. No asshole licking. And violently drags him out. Finn. Friend of mine was getting married. At his stag bachelor party in Newcastle, he pulled some girl. Like I've been on a lot of stags, but this was the first time the groom has ever cheated. Anyway he goes home with this girl then the next day we fly back to London. His wife to be picks him up from the airport. 20 mins into the car journey home she asks him why he is so quiet. For some unknown reason he then decides to tell her everything. Wedding gets called off. He then moves up to Newcastle to be with his new woman. It lasts two months, then he comes back to London with his tail between his legs. Gets back with his ex-bride-to-be. They eventually got married about a year later. No one has really seen him since his wife now doesn't let him out of her sight. Ah good times. Edit. Agree with a lot of what's being said. Like I said earlier it's the first time I've ever witnessed a groom be unfaithful on a stag. Like I've seen a lot of blokes have strippers all over them etc, but that's kind of expected, and half the time you can see how awkward they all feel. As far as broken trust and consciousness etc go. Agree with broken trust. He ducked up for sure and to be fair he deserves everything she gave him. Conscious, tough one really. Personally I think he should have kept his mouth shut and made it up to her by being a good husband when they got married and not doing it again. 
Last thing I need to add that I didn't. He and her had kids at the time of the stag. Three of them. That's kind of why I thought he should have kept his mouth shut for them and the good of the family. I am not condoning it at all. I do want to say I think this was kind of out of character for him as well, maybe that added to things. Hey ho, last but not least the best thing for all concerned would have been for him, not to he such a ducking idiot and keep it in his pants in the first place. Absolute ducking bell end the fella. Like and subscribe for more funny, interesting, and scary r slash ask reddit videos.